Good morning. Today we're going to make a brisket, so it's bright and early. It's about seven o'clock in the morning here in Westlake. Ninety gram of salt, sixteen gram of beef base powder. You know, like to make the stock and the soups. That's what we are using. Fourteen gram of black pepper, brown. Ten gram of onion powder. And typically I use Worcestershire uh, powder, but I don't have any, so instead of uh, using the powder, I'm going to use uh, regular Worcestershire sauce that I will rub the brisket with so those rest of the spices are sticking together. And for the smoking, you're going to use um, cherry wood chunk that I'm actually smoking right now in the water. So for the brisket, we have an 8 pounder uh, brisket flap, it's not the whole piece but it's more than enough for the family of four that we have and uh, we're going to trim out some of the fat that you have on it, leaving about a quarter inch of fat on top of it and removing every piece of silver skin that you could find. Oh, the egg just stabilized, it's about 220. 225 right now. Our brisket is inside. We're going to leave it like that for about four hours. Then I'll put the probe inside that. To check the temperature. We're going to probably take it out at 160 and uh, then wrap it in aluminium and finish it for the remaining of the cooking time. This is the temperature of the pit, 231 and I'll set up the probe at uh, 160. After 8 hours, uh, we took out the brisket out of the, the egg, wrapped it up in aluminium foil, then in parchment paper. Since I'm French, I put a little bit of butter on top of it and chicken broth. And then we let it go for another 2 hours at 225 and we reach 190. Uh, the brisket developed a nice bark, nice outer rim too. We sliced it in quarter inch uh, thickness sliced. My advice for this is to use a prime quality brisket. It will help with the tenderness and the moisture. The remaining half of the brisket will be cooked sous vide at 185 and we'll use it in the upcoming uh, chili. Stay tuned.